Sandra, tell me about your business. It's called Dreamscapes, I know that, but what exactly do you do? Our business name is Dreamscapes Water Garden Inc. and we are located in Lebanon, of course, and we are primarily a water garden design, installation, and maintenance company, but we also have retail items for sale as well. Yes, and you have this wonderful furniture here that I understand comes from Southeast Asia. Yes and imported and manufactured there, made out of teak wood. Um, do you sell a lot of this furniture? We have sold quite a few pieces, primarily because they go so wonderfully with uh, the water gardens that we install. So um, we try to get people interested in the outdoors, and, and you know, these benches are something that's going to last a very, very long time. They will hold up in the elements, so we're very excited to have these pieces of art um, and to be able to sell them. Uh, do they need any maintenance or do they basically uh, you know just uh, weather well? They do. If you know anything about teak it is a wood that will not rot so they are perfectly fine to be outside all year long. Um, if you leave them out without treating them they will gray just like any piece of teak furniture. That's why we recommend putting a teak oil on them. It just absolutely brings out the beautiful shine and the wood grain. So. Right, right. So how long have you been in business? We started our business back in 2000, so we're going on our 13th year. Um, we started right when we got out of college and haven't looked back. So um, we're very excited to have uh, a butterfly house opening um, later this summer. So something that we're promoting and trying to get people interested in. Um, so we're excited about that opportunity. Great. I didn't know about the butterfly house. That's wonderful. So is most of your business done in Lebanon County, or how far do you go? What, any, what kind of area do you cover? The furthest pond that we've installed was in Kentucky, so we are not afraid to travel, but um, you know, our main business is Lebanon, Lancaster, and Dolphin counties. Um, so we love to do local work, though, for sure, because it makes it uh, nice to be able to do work right around the corner from our business. So I guess you do a lot of uh, primarily goldfish ponds, that type of thing, is it? Yeah, we are primarily water garden uh, driven, so um, we will do landscaping and um, hardscaping if it involves a water feature. Uh, but we like to stick to our bread and butter, and, and we like to do what we do best which is water gardens. Yeah. Well, it's certainly a, a wonderful uh, business. I know my, uh, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law have a pond, a little goldfish pond in the backyard, and uh, their main um, problem is with uh, the birds that try to land and eat the fish. <laughs> so, but they have frogs in their pond and the whole bit, so it's really a neat place. You'll have to have them call me. I have some really good tips about uh, hair and uh, deterrence, uh, some inexpensive techniques to use, but okay, I will. call me and I'll, I'll give them I, I will experience. tell them, yes. I'll tell them to call you. That's great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see, how many people do you have working for your business? It varies throughout the season. Um, generally about six give or take. And then we have some, a retail, full-time retail girl that helps with our store. Um, and then we have some part-time people that we bring in during our during the spring, which is our busiest time. So we're still well, a small company. I'll have to stop by and see because I, di I didn't know you had a store and I, I'm excited about the, the uh, butterfly building and oh, that'll be neat. Yeah. Yeah. Great. People are come to, welcome to come stop out at our farm. We have animals. We have uh, five Sicilian miniature donkeys. We have a potbelly pig named Pork Chop. Um, lots and lots and lots of beautiful fish. Um, we hope to have some um, land tortoises later um, this coming year. Uh, we're going to have a children's garden. Um, just all kinds of fun, uh, fun activities to do at our farm. Um, and we like I said, we love to support the local local people. So come on out and see us and. Um, have fun. Wow, that's great. I didn't know how, well, I didn't know 90% of what you have there, you know, just driving by. Yeah. So do you sell also the fish for your for your ponds? We do. We are full-scale water garden, so um, anything you need for your water garden, we have uh, aquatic plants, we have koi, we have goldfish for sale, we have water treatments, pumps, filters, you name it. We also have the cool garden accents, um, butterfly houses, bird houses, things like that to accent around the, the landscape. So anything you need, um, we have it available there at the farm. And what did you say, miniature donkeys or what? Yes. <laughs> now, how do they go with water? They water? don't. They're just more a novelty. But people, we have people that stop, um, you know, every couple of weeks just to feed them. It's it's great. So we have uh, Ellie and we have Roy and Honky Tonk Hank, Henry, and Emily. So they're all named. That's great. All That's all great. Names. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Well, I know where you are. You're on 343 between Lebanon and Fredericksburg, right? And it's a farm on the left-hand side as you're going north. Or yeah. So I'm, I'm going to stop in and see. I will. I will. I promise. Uh, what? When does your season start and when does it end? Um, we generally open up for retail latter part of March, early part of April. We'll go up until Christmas Eve, and then we, because we're so busy throughout the year, we need some time off. So it's our kind of rest and relaxation. Then we jump into doing the farm show. So. No rest for the weary, I guess. 
That's all right. Well, this was very interesting, and, and I can't wait to stop by and see everything that you have because I had no idea it was that extensive. So very good. You can't see from driving on the road what we have. You have to stop in. As for Pond Girl, she'll give you the tour. Pond Girl. Yes, and I hear your, I hear your ads on WLBR. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not terracotta, terra firma. I'm terra stellar. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Tara. It was very interesting, and I will stop by, definitely.